Hey, this is Dr. T, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the essential nature of both needing and being a rubber duck. If you've been watching our videos, you know that we love to support the growth of new devs and challenge the mindsets of season ones. One way to know for sure that you're giving yourself the best opportunity to grow is by being or using a rubber duck. <laughs> uh, what is a rubber duck? So glad you asked. It's a metaphor for talking through a strategic or code related challenge with someone else to see if what you're thinking floats like a rubber duck or sinks like the Titanic. Often we wanna power through strategy or code base issues on our own until we find a solution. But I tell everyone I know, if you've been spinning your wheels for longer than 30 minutes, it's time to rubber duck. Many times we're afraid to ask for help because of how we feel will be perceived, but we all do it. And if someone thinks negatively of you using them as a rubber duck, then take your duck elsewhere. But I'm willing to guarantee that they will be excited to help you because we all rubber duck. The biggest win is sometimes when you start to share your struggle with another developer, the solution comes right to you as you're talking. It's tempting to stop the rubber duck session right at that moment and run back to your keyboard and continue hacking away. But it's more effective if you think you got a solution as you're explaining your problem to say it aloud again and then repeat it with the steps that you plan to do next. There will be occasions though that walking through it won't help, but the person listening can offer you resources or ideas that can get you rocking and rolling again. On the flip side, if you're graced with the privilege of playing the role of rubber duck, it's important that you listen until the person sharing their frustrations is either done or starts rambling. Ask guiding questions without being condescending or judgmental. And if you don't know the answer, say you don't know. And see this as an opportunity to work on those Googling skills as a team. So rubber duck Google together. Just last weekend, I was working on a project to set up some key infrastructure on a mono repo using Storybook for work. And I had Googled to the end of Google. Trinity walked in and I just looked at her and she sat down knowing the drill and was ready to rubber duck. She had found the same resources I did, but she interpreted them differently than I had. And with her Googling and me coding, the solution was found in less than 30 minutes. I'd been struggling on that issue for over an hour before she walked in. Rubber ducking is the best way to step away from your challenge, meet with wonderful minds, and grow relationships and trust. If you've never rubber ducked before, I highly suggest you try it the next time you get stumped. I promise you'll feel so much better and you might even gain a new friend. This is Dr. T signing off, encouraging you to embrace your mission because you are the hero who you've been looking for. Go get it done with the rubber ducky. <laughs> do, 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 do. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make code issues lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. Do-do-do-do.